Hey, Rap City, what's going on? Your girl Les back on the set. I hope you didn't make any plans today because this show is real serious. Capone, Noriega in the house with Les, and my man Tragedy back on the set. But I must tell you, Capone is here with us in spirit, and we'll tell you why in a few minutes. What's up, fellas? What's going on? Trash. Welcome back, baby. No doubt. He took an extended vacation, left the scene for a second, back on the map, hanging out with Noriega and Capone. No doubt. Welcome to you, welcome to you. All right. Now, what's the story here? How did this relationship hook up? Mm, I'll let Noriega tell you. Talk to me, darling. Well, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm from Left Rack, which, which is like not too far from Queensbridge. Right. Uh, I knew Traz when I was young and before I got into this, and I, I went upstate for a little time little while and that's where I met Capone and Traz already knew Capone so when we came home and we was playing this rap thing it was like all came together like you know Traz knew Capone he knew right, me right. so it was like we all know each other so we just built it from ground up Yo, tech, listen, on a mission, back out you guys got a little bit of controversy going on and let's just start with the whole name situation Capone Noriega known for being drug lords so-called murderers and all kinds of things why did you Name yourself. See, actually, I, I didn't name myself Noriega. It was like I was up state and I was reading, and like I was enthusiastic towards reading about Noriega, and I read about Castro and like Escobar and all of them, mm -hmm. and I, and Noriega's story just like it just you know what I mean it, it caught me, you know what I'm saying. So I, I continued studies on him and I read about him and everybody in like in my house and where I was at, they used to be like, yeah, you read about Noriega all the right, time, right. you know, and and it just stuck with me. Like it's like Noriega, Noriega. Actually, Capone really wasn't calling himself Capone up north. He it, it came home and got that name, and then it just fit together like Capone and Noriega. Want a more penalty? Rolled up, South Law, Bang the whole Rolled staff, Castro, Mendo, and South. LA, LA. Was it a diss towards LA? Was it promoting New York? What's the deal? Well, actually, like, L.A. wasn't even a planned record, was it? Nah, it was like, like we, we went in, we did wow. it, but, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people took it out of, took it out of contents. First of all, we didn't, you know, we didn't come out and we didn't say any names in the song because when the mother cats did it, they didn't make any direct, you know, you know, they didn't come out and say, this is about such and such right. or this is about that one. We did it as, like, you know, it was like, it was like a rebuttal, you know? Because you could, I mean, anybody that love, loves hip-hop, I don't know about, like, this generation, but I know what generation I come from, when, like, Rakim's was coming out, and right. L's, and, you know, it was love. You know, you was excited to hear the next rap record, you know what I'm saying, the next right. rap album. And, and, you know, back then it was, like, really based on, you know, if you didn't have battle records or rebuttal records, you wouldn't have a Karis one Exactly. So, exactly. In, 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 in all essence... Karis One should respect Shan, mm -hmm. cause that's that set him off. And Roxanne should respect UTFO. So it was an answer record. But then you had them little instigating cats that just want to blow it out of proportion exactly. and say it's an East Coast West Coast war. Right. We right. just we just was on it. Like we said, we to be honest, we did it for like a um a blend tape, blow it out. Mm -hmm. a mixtape. We did it for a mixtape, yeah. and people blew it out of proportion. But it, it was like one person heard yeah. it, and then another person heard it, and they was and like it just, DJs it got onto it and was like, yo, this is it, you know? Right, right, and right. Cause it was like an answer record, like he said, and, and that's and that's what keeps it going. Like somebody disses him, and then it's an answer record back for them. So it's like albums to be bought. Like if right, you want to hear right. what he he's his 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 opinion is on that, you gotta buy his album. You it's know all, what I'm saying? Or it's buy all his entertainment. Album. You know what yeah, I'm and that's what we've been doing since the old school. Everything has been done on wax, and we need to keep it on wax. So no advocating violence here, just lyrical violence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Rap respect City. New York. This is the mecca of hip hop. Ah, act like you know. Rap City, don't touch that dial. Home, Noriega. Tragedy. We're gonna have a story for you, don't move. Noriega, Tragedy, Chilling with Les, all good. The new album, War Report, what's the title? That's it, War Report. I'm saying, <laughs> what's it about? What's um, why the title, The War Report? Well, we're trying to, it's like it's like news station, because CNN, that's what, like our name, like CNN, Capone Noriega. So it's like a news, like, so you getting involved with, and you, when you listen to CNN, you're getting a visual, like, CNN, mm -hmm. and they be changing channels on you, for you, you know what I'm saying? So that's the war report, you know what I'm saying? And there's different channels on the album, so right. it's just like, it's 
like everything is this. It's, 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 it's awesome. Oh, yo, you on my back. I had the lime green on with the string on, with fatigue on, fresh Ava Rex's cockpit. That's from the outlet, Jose Luis Emperor. Now, what's this going? What's, what's that about? Iraq, Iraq was like, you know what I'm saying? It's like left rack. Left rack is Iraq. And I, I, I figured like Iraq, I mean, left rack needed a, a different name. You know what I'm saying? It needed a name where people could look at us and be like, what we are. And, and a lot of people from left rack, if you do the knowledge to them, they're like rebellious. Mm -hmm. And that's what people from Iraq is, they rebellious towards the American government. So I just picked that name and it was right. effect. So what else are we going to hear on this album? And are you featured on some other songs too? Yeah. Okay. No doubt. I mean, the album, like, you got, you got cuts like, you got cuts like Dirty Money, you know, you got cuts like, um, you got cuts like uh, In The Zone, you got mm -hmm. cuts like Letter To Capone, he did a, a song that's like, you know, basically, you know, showing yeah. Capone, you know, the love, right, you know, right. showing him that yeah, he's cool. there for him, yeah, he's showing him that he's there for him, and it's different too, you know, so you got, you got them, you got, definitely got them hard street joints, but then you got joints that, you know, Somebody, you know, your moms might listen to and say, oh, I like that song, yeah, you know? Yeah. I feel that right there. Yeah, yeah, like stuck. It's, you know, there's different varieties on there, you know, for everybody to get into channel, and listen. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, turn like you said. Turn the channel, you know what I'm saying? Now, what year is it that you came out with Intelligent Husband? That was what, 80? That was, nah, that was 91. 91? Yeah, that now, was 91. Has your style changed since then? Are you still the same person? I know you've had different experiences and you've grown a lot, but lyrically, are you still the same person? Is your style still the same since then? I would say lyrically, my style is a lot different. I'm just a thug with Armani specs, laser beam text, for the D's rushing cribs while I'm having sex. So like, you know, my mind state was a little different, but my views are still the same, you know what I'm saying? And like. For instance, I was talking. I was on a on a show last night, a, a radio show, and they was asking me, you know, um, cause they they heard a joint I did, um, with uh, you know, with Noriega and Capone okay. called Stick You, mm -hmm. and they was like, you know, why why are you going so far off? You did a rest of president and all that, and you did Black and Proud, you know, and just for the record, you know what I'm saying? I, I at that time I came out with that, but I I really seen that Cats wasn't really ready for that. Right. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really, really ready for an 18-year-old cat coming out saying arrest the president. You know what I'm saying? They ain't know how to swallow that. Now, cats is on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got mm -hmm. Tupac when he when he was making joints going at the government. So it's like, I felt like my stuff was a little, you know, off. You know what I'm saying? My timing was a little off. So just for the record, you know, my views are still the same. I still feel the same way. It's just, you know, I'm older and things are just a little right. different. You know right. what I'm saying?